Guys, what is up? Welcome back to my freaking channel. My name is Emma Lokai. If you haven't been here before, um, welcome, welcome now. <laughs> okay, I gotta work on a better intro because I really don't know how to intro. I, I really don't. Like, uh, I've said my name. I'm 25 years old. I do music. <laughs> I just heard it over again. Okay. Hey guys. <laughs> nope, that didn't work. Hi, my name's Emma Lokai. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, didn't see you there. Welcome back. <laughs> you know what? We're actually just gonna go with hello? thing even working. Hi, my name is Emma Lokai and welcome back to my freaking channel. Um, yeah, uh, today, before we get into what I'm going to be talking about, wow, why can't I speak? Today, we're going to get into some questions that I have been frequently asked and I actually asked on my Insta, uh, what questions you guys wanted to have me answer. So I have a few, I think I have like eight questions, so it's not too long, but then again, that's the only amount of questions that I got. So, <laughs> I mean, whatever, it was the first time, right? First time I'm doing a video about this, so I'm, I'm, I'm excited. With the eight questions that I got, um, I know that makes me sound so sad. I'm just like, so hey guys, I'm here to film a video for you. And I only got eight questions. People only ask me eight questions. So I, I could do all of it in one video. I was really hoping for that one where someone would be like, Oh my gosh, there's so many questions and I just don't know what to do. That didn't happen here, but that's okay. And moving forward, there, that might happen to me. I don't know, but we'll see. Stay tuned. But before I get into the uh, question answering part, I did want to show you a little snippet. This past week, I filmed my Pilates certification video, which I am so happy about. Uh, and basically what that is, I'm, I'm trying to get certified to teach Pilates and I have to send in a video obviously because I can't do it in person with everything that's going on right now. So I sent it in video, but obviously there are bloopers because it just wouldn't be me if I didn't have bloopers for my video. So I'm going to show you a little snippet, a little snippets of bloopers that, you know, I think will just make you laugh. So here we go. Bye. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> go through the TV. <laughs> Alright. Oh, my freaking Pilates video. Alright. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, stop recording for a second, sorry. <clears throat> okay, and welcome back. I hope that made you laugh, even though it was just five seconds of bloopers, but... Anyway, I'm gonna get straight into the questions. Um, people ask me this on my Instagram, which is at Emma Lokai, so you can follow me there. I'm pretty active just on Instagram. That's just my, it's just like my social media of choice at the moment. And Pinterest, I really love Pinterest, but. But who follows people on Pinterest? I don't know, that's a thing? That's a thing, you find me on Pinterest, it's Emma Lokai. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna get into these questions. So the first question is how do you start working out regularly I think this is a, a frequently asked question for me just over the past few years just because I'm I'm so into Pilates and it's very evident on my Instagram very evident if you know me and talk to me in life I just constantly talk about Pilates but I will say that it wasn't I didn't just wake up one morning and I was like I'm gonna try Pilates it did not happen like that it took me I was probably in high school um actually no mm, dial it back even more Grade 10, summer school. I failed grade 10 science, so I had to redo it in summer school. <laughs> I don't know if it's because my teacher hated me or just because I didn't try. I think it's a little bit of both. And I mixed it together and I failed grade 10 science, but this video is not about that. Anyway, I was in summer school, grade 10 science, and I remember just sitting at the desk waiting for the class to start and I just felt so tired, so bloated, so full, just from overeating, not eating right. Um, I wasn't exercising at all and I know grade 10 is still a young age and I'm not saying that you need to start exercising in high school or anything like that I just I noticed my body not working the same and I think all the food that I was eating was catching up to me So anyway fast forward to grade 11. I ended up wanting to get in, get into 
working out. And I actually went on YouTube a bunch. I tried to go to gyms. It's like through friends or through those like two week trial things. And I just never found one that excited me. And I also really hated working out in front of people because I had never worked out before ever, seriously. So going into a gym and being like on a treadmill and being like, and like pretending to know what I'm doing just wasn't fun for me. Or just like running laps. Like sometimes those gyms had like laps around the gym and I would just run laps and I'm like, okay, I guess this is it. This is my workout and then I would leave and I just wouldn't feel good because I had no idea what I was doing. So anyway, I ended up ditching the gym life because I was like, this isn't for me. And I sat down at YouTube, at YouTube. I sat down on my computer and searched YouTube and I just literally searched different videos. Like I was into kick, kickboxing, so I searched kickboxing videos. I had never heard of Pilates before. And at the time I was just very into Miley Cyrus. And then Miley Cyrus just came onto my, um, like feed or whatever I was looking and she was doing Pilates. So that's actually how I, <laughs> I started getting interested in Pilates was through Miley Cyrus, just some, you know, at that time I was so interested in her career. So um, I started searching for Pilates on YouTube and I came across Cassie Ho, which a lot of you um, have heard me mention before on, on my Instagram. And she's just like, she started on YouTube too. And she did at home workouts where you didn't need any equipment. All you needed was your own body weight, a mat, and then sometimes some running shoes. And her videos went from three minutes to 20 minutes to everything in between. And I ended up falling in love. So that's kind of where it started and how I started working out regularly. I had to find something that I truly actually was interested in. And I'm not telling you that it was like, as soon as I did Pilates, I was like, oh, I love this. I'm getting up every day and I'm doing it. No, I hated it for the, the beginning because I had never worked out before and my muscles were hurting. I couldn't do certain moves. It was hard, you know, it was going through the motions of change. And that's a really hard thing to do. I mean, any sort of workout, any sort of thing that you're trying for the first time, it can be really defeating because you're not good at it. And you just think that you're never gonna be good at it. Uh, but that is not true. And it's for anyone that has stuck anything out, you just need to push through, keep going, keep trying, and your, your body or mind are gonna find a way to love it. So yeah, that's my advice. Um, I don't really know if I even answered the question fully, but how do I start working out regularly was trying to find something that made me excited. Next question. How do you stop a junk food craving and what's your fave junk food to have? <gasps> Ooh, this is a good one. Um, my favorite junk food, okay, it's a mix. So I was really hooked in, on Doritos in high school. Like I couldn't live a day without a Dorito chip. Like I, I love that nacho cheese. Um, I didn't really actually like the other flavors and I know a lot of people are like, cool ranch, cool ranch. But I was just, no, I was nacho cheese, nacho cheese only. So yeah, Doritos and probably Chips Ahoy. Those are my two fave junk foods. And then how do you stop a junk food craving? Well, let me tell you, it's a hard thing to do because I think a lot of the time when you're craving junk food, thinking it has to be like junk food, like really bad food, like it needs to be like McDonald's or like Burger King or a, like a million chips ahoy, but really your body's just craving something sweet. If you're like a sweet tooth like me, I just found healthier options for everything. So if I'm having um, like a junk food craving, I just try to find things that are like healthier versions. So I try to make my own chips ahoy cookies, <laughs> you know, and I've, I've done my cookie recipe on um, Instagram before. And yeah, it's not gonna taste exactly like chips ahoy, but I know exactly what's going into my cookies I Can eat really as many as I want to obviously try not to eat up them all sometimes it happens but I know what's going into the cookies so and they're a healthier version so I don't feel as bad and honestly once you start eating something that's sweet you will probably notice that that junk food craving is gonna go down but I've just really made it a habit for myself if I do want something that's not as good for me how can I make it healthier and I know that sounds so boring, but that's just the truth. Like, I'm not, I can't have a Dorito a day. I just, I just can't. Or I'm gonna eat the whole bag every single day. So I have to find ways to make my own chips, like potato chips. I love potato chips. So I just make those myself too. 
I can show you how I do that, but um, I think how I stop a junk food craving is just to make a healthier version of the junk food and still eat it anyway. But if you truly, truly just like want a Dorito, just go get a Dorito. Cause I feel like nothing's going to stop that craving until you get a Dorito. But yeah, I would just say everything in moderation. And yeah. Number six, what's next in your music career? Really good question, and if somebody could figure that out for me, that would be great. <laughs> Just kidding. But uh, yeah, so my music career, it's, uh, I feel like this could be a separate video, and if you do want me to talk more about this, just comment below and let me know um, or just hit me up on Instagram because I have a very interesting story about my journey and I'm still on my journey. I love music. Uh, I've always dreamed about just like being an artist and making, you know, a career off of music. So I just released an EP late last year in May. Um, it was called Dilemma. I'm super proud of it. It's a seven song EP and um, I worked really, really hard on it for the past five years. And yeah, so what's next is, I don't know. I'm still making music, I play the piano as well. So I constantly am writing music myself at home. I've made a bunch of friends in the industry as well. So I make music with a lot of different producers, other artists too, but I'm just kind of seeing right now where life is taking me. So that's that. But if you want me to go into more detail on like where I am label wise or anything about the music industry, just let me know because I really have experienced quite a bit and yeah, I hope maybe my knowledge could help somebody too. But yeah, okay, so that's that question. Uh, number seven, biggest pet peeve. This is a really hard one to answer because I have so many pet peeves and I'm sure everybody does too. Since I was talking about Trips Ahoy earlier, I'm going to just dive in deeper into that, maybe. Um, do you know now, like, cookie packages that have, like, the fold, the flap, where you, like, pull open, and they're like, this is to make it easier for you to open your cookie bag. False! It is so hard for me to open those things. First of all, they're so sealed down shut that I can't find it to flip it open, you know? Just, like, flip back the latch, or whatever you call it. So it's really hard for me to open cookie bags. So normally I'm just, like, jabbing in to find, like, a hole for me to, like, lift, and by the time I get the top open, my cookie bag is ruined, and my cookies are everywhere. That's my biggest pet peeve, or one of them. Okay, and last question. I thought this was, like, a really good one. They're all really great, but favorite trait about yourself, physical and characteristic. So, my favorite physical trait about myself is my teeth, I think. I like it. I like my teeth. I never had to wear get braces or anything like that, and I'm truly thankful for that. I like, haven't had a lot of problems with my mouth, so <laughs> I don't know. I just I think that's probably my favorite, maybe physical trait about myself. And my favorite trait about myself, but characteristic wise, I would probably have to say I like how my mind works. <laughs> wow, I feel like that's so like. I love how my mind works. Like I just love me. That's not what I'm saying. I just. I mean in a certain kind of way. I feel like I'm, I'm a very driven person. Very driven when I know the why behind things. So the biggest thing I like about myself is that I really want to find out the why behind a lot of things. And I feel like that kind of makes me a little bit more driven in whatever I do. Because once I understand why, I, I feel so motivated. I'm just like, yes, now I understand why I need to do this. Now I understand why I need, like eating healthy is great for me and it, gives me more energy and I can do more things. I think that's my f favorite, you know, characteristic about myself, but I'm so happy that I could do this. And the fact that anyone even asked me any questions makes me very, you know, makes me cry. Ow, that hurt me. But either way, I'm just, I'm really thankful that. I just get so scared when somebody walks by my room and hears me talking to myself. I just want to be like, it's boring, or you do video! But like, that's weirder. They don't believe me What they don't understand me What they just see me